So here I'm trying something a little bit different. In my previous Khan Academy walkthrough videos, I've done all the questions in one big video. Here I'm going to uh, just make a playlist of individual videos, one for each question. And so I'll make one playlist for the medium level questions, uh, paired passage questions, and then another playlist for the advanced level questions. And the corresponding PDFs you can find linked to below, but the Khan Academy disclaimer applies, namely that all of these questions are available for free on the Khan Academy's website. But uh, with that said, let's just go ahead and get into it. So here, a very standard prompt. They're asking how the author of text two would respond to the underlined portion of text one. And so the first thing we want to do is understand the underlined portion of text one. So in a study of insect behavior, the researchers presented bumblebees with small wooden balls and observed many of the bees clinging to, rolling, and dragging the objects. So kind of a funny image there, but it says the researchers provided no external rewards, such as food, to encourage these interactions. The bees simply appeared to be playing and for no other reason than because they were having fun. Okay. I'm just going to write bees playing arrow fun. Now that's very simple, but it's a good habit to get into. And this idea of, you know, making sure that you summarize it to yourself so that you understand it before going on to read that second little passage. Uh, that's something that will come in handy when you get to the harder questions. Okay, so it says, insects do not have cortexes or other brain areas associated with emotions in humans. Here we could just say, insects do not have brain areas associated with emotions in humans. Don't worry about that specific word. Still, this researcher and her team have shown that bumblebees may engage in play, possibly experiencing some kind of positive emotional state, like fun. Other studies have suggested that bees experience negative emotional states. But, as this researcher and her team have acknowledged, emotions in insects, if they do indeed exist, are likely very rudimentary. So, a good vocabulary word to know here. Rudimentary just means something like basic. But so, what's the idea here? Well, I think they would agree that the bees could have some kind of positive emotion, but as it says here, it's a very rudimentary kind of emotion. So here I'm just going to write, I don't know, rudimentary fun. I don't know. They're not having advanced, sophisticated levels of fun that humans might encounter. But uh, yeah, so we're going to just go and take that with us to the answers. So, you know, so they basically agree. They basically agree, but they sort of modify what the authors of the first passage would have said. So they're not objecting. They're not objecting. They're certainly not saying that the bees were experiencing a negative feeling. They're also not pointing out anything about humans because the passage is not about humans. It's really about bees. The passages are about bees. Yes, they compare them to humans, but humans are not the focus. Insects other than bumblebees usually want to be wary when they shift the topic like that. There's nothing in here about insects other than bumblebees and nothing that we could use to make any inference about insects other than bumblebees. Well, they talk about insects in general, but we're really focused on bumblebees. And so that's what we're going to get here. Noting that if the bees were truly playing, any positive feelings were probably quite basic. And so that is the connection here. Rudimentary, basic, and so that's kind of what we expect to find on these answers. We don't expect to find the exact same word, but we want to have some kind of mapping between keywords in the passage and those in the answer choice. And so that's going to be our correct answer.